Hello, it's Alina from Estimate Mastery here, and today I would like to talk about the difference between macros and note templates. I think there's a lot of confusion out there on what each one does. A template is not a macro, and a macro is not a template, and they're used, uh, the words are used interchangeably, and I think people are just super confused about what is what. So I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of both, what I like to use when I'm writing estimates and just the general knowledge of what these two terms are and what they are in Xactimate and how to create them. And I'm just going to go over everything. So today we're going to talk about macros and note templates. Here I am, I'm in an estimate, I've named it water template, and I'm in the estimate items screen. And as you can see, I've got all of my rooms detailed out here on the grouping tree, so they're already pre created, ready to go, ready to have line items added to them. Now, I did not sketch them, of course, because every home is different, unless you've got a subdivision where it's cookie cutter homes and everybody's the same, then you could sketch everything and save it as a template. But I have just empty folders here um, for the template that we're going to be dealing with. And then if you want to, you can double click on that folder and then add dimensions. I have a whole video on this, so go search for um, dimensioning a room or dimensions. Uh, I think it's I actually dimensioned some elevations, so that might be what you have to search for on YouTube. But I go into this and you can use it for rooms, elevations, and roofs if you wanted to. It's just a different way of doing it. Now, if I wanted to make this a true template, I could go ahead and pre add all of my water remediation and dry out line items if that's the kind of template that I'm looking for. People do this for water remediation and then they do it for the, the rebuild. So sometimes you have to uh, submit a mitigation estimate separately from your rebuild estimate and that's why this will be a different template than my rebuild. Some people mix them. So again, templates can be whatever you want. So I go ahead and I add all my water remediation line items that I have saved on my macro. Okay, so the template is the whole estimate, guys. Guys, that's a template. A macro is a saved list of line items that I can add to any estimate. See the difference here? So if I would have had quantities, it would have filled out. Um, uh, I don't know if this macro has the variables saved. Doesn't look like it um, does, but it. Um, we can fill out all the quantities after we save this template into a new estimate. Okay, so this actually what I'm working in right now, I don't want you to get confused. I'm building the master template that I'm going to be duplicating for specific jobs. So let me just finish this here. I can go ahead and take all these line items and then just apply them to the rest of the list here. Go ahead and right click and paste all those and that'll add those line items to all those rooms. Now you may need to go into the stairway and maybe you have a different application for something that you do for the stairway or for the bathroom. You want to, um, you know, take out the tile or, or take out a shower pan or add that. Whatever is what you'd normally do on a category one job for water remediation, that's what you want to build here. I have a category one, two, and three macro that I work off of, and I would just add those line items here to the template. This is the master template. So I want to build out as much as I can, adding as much as I can here, because deleting off items or rooms in Xactimate is always faster than going and adding them. That's just the way it is in Xactimate. So with this template, I would go ahead and add everything I'd need for any of these rooms here. Now going back to the claim info, I wanted to show you for the parameters. I would also save my template with my company header. My opening statement would be saved. I would also save it with the price list that you're going to be using probably for that area. You may have to update it once a month, you know, update your master template. However, I'm not going to enter any specific information here. The type of loss I'll use, I'll leave the water, but this is a master template, guys. No specific information should be in here. So I'm going to have to take out any specifics just so I don't have to delete and delete and delete every time I'm using this template. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the date of loss too. The claim rep, 
that's okay. I actually don't mind. I'm usually with claim up on those, these uh, estimates. So that's, that's going to stay there. That's fine. So everything that is generic, everything that would save you time out in the field is what a template should be used for. So I'm going to go ahead and save and exit this. I'm going to go and find my Xactimate. There we are. And I'm going to put in here, I have water template that I've created. There it is. So now I have a water job and I need to go ahead and work off of this template. I'm going to highlight the master template that I've created. Go over to the right here. I'm in X1. If you're in version 28, whether it be online or desktop, you're going to highlight the project name and right click to find duplicate. Here in X1, it's duplicate right over there to the right once you've highlighted the project on the, um, the list here. Notice if I don't have the project highlighted, I don't see my options. So make sure you have it highlighted, duplicate, and I'm going to take this out and I'm going to name it what I want it to be, the specific homeowner's name that I'm going to be working with. And then I'm going to create my template from here. Now I have a duplication. I'm not going to edit the master. That'd be a waste of time. I need to have a separate project in order to work specifically on my loss. So that's why we duplicate the master and now I can make this my own. I can go in here and add all of my square footage, my dimensions, add my claim info, all that other stuff because I have duplicated my master. Okay, so be careful that you don't edit your master. It's really annoying when you mess up with your master and then you have to go back and figure out what you know um, specific information you entered that keeps duplicating over and over. But from here on out, I can duplicate that template for as many water remediation estimates that I want. So that's a template. Now here's why I don't like it. I don't like it because I write estimates for contractors for the use of supplementing. And when I write an estimate, I want it to be in the order of the original statement of loss. I want to write the exact way that the adjuster wrote out in the field. I want to use his order, duplicate it perfectly. So when he gets my supplement estimate, he goes, oh yeah, I've already paid for X, Y, and Z. Ah, I see that they're asking for this, this, and this. So he has a apples for apples looking estimate and they can see what we're asking for and the line items that of course weren't on his estimate. So this is a time waste for me. I will now have to left click, hold and drag these guys around to figure out what order the original estimate is in. It's just faster for me to go ahead and delete off all of these guys, right click and delete, go back and just add new ones and then add my macro. So this is a serious waste of time as well because I have all these line items added in each room here or in each folder. I will have to left click, hold and drag the line items into his order as well because I want it to look apples for apples in each folder for what he paid for. Huge time waste for what I do every day when I write estimates. So we're going to delete off all those guys and you can see here it's much quicker in this application to go ahead and delete off the folders from the grouping tree. I then go to add, use continuous add, and we're just going to go ahead and add the roof and then go ahead to exterior. And that's going to go a lot faster for me because he wrote his estimate in his own order, not in the order that I had my template in. So that is a lot more quick. That's a lot more easy for me to do, especially when I'm trying to recreate an original statement of loss. I would come into the roof, then I'd use category and selector codes in order to build this estimate. They're going to be our fastest way. You're going to have to start to memorize some of the main ones. I have a video on this. I think it's called fastest way to estimate. Also, if you follow my business page over on Facebook, I did a Facebook live on the fastest way to estimate and I gave away my list of commonly used light items in that Facebook Live. So go over to my business page, take a look at the videos section, and you'll see the video that I did. Plus, if you comment, we'll send you the fastest way to estimate um, PDF with my commonly missed line items. So just a plug to go find my page on Facebook. But um, no, I, I actually will give you that resource if you go over there and request it. So um, this to me is a lot faster than using templates. It's actually faster than using a macro, right? Because the macro is my ordered list. It's not the list that the adjuster's list of how he ordered it. So a macro actually wouldn't work well here either. It's memorizing those category and selector codes that are going to help you if you do what I do and having to supplement. So see how a template would really waste a lot of time for you in this instance, but will save you a lot of time if you're just writing the estimate out in the field. And that's why adjusters
Carriers love templates because they do the same thing every day in the same way and the carriers ask them to do it that way. That's great for template. But for someone like me, when I need to recreate someone else's work and then correct it, it just doesn't work to use a template. Not even macros really work for that. What I would do is build the adjuster's original estimate like so. Let's just make a super quick list real quick here. And um, let's just say that he paid for this many line items. Uh, like this, then what I would do is I'd put supplement items listed below as an attachment, and then I'd add my macro here. That's where my macro is powerful in supplementing. So see, all of that is way too complicated for a template. A template is for something that's cookie cutter every day. Macros are lists of line items to help you not only leave off line items, but to populate whenever you're trying to create an estimate, a uh, supplement estimate after what the adjuster has added, if that makes sense. If you have any questions, please comment below. I know there's some different reasons you all will probably think of for why you'd use one over the other, but this is the best way I've found to use it. I try to save as much time as possible for myself out in the field. So if I'm helping an adjuster, the templates are great, but if I'm writing for roof exterior or rebuild contractors, then the supplement portion of this is better served by not using a template, but relying on the macros for the supplement line items only. If you know anyone that can use this information, please be sure to share the video here down below. You'll see a share button. Also subscribe if you want more tips and tricks like this every week. I create a video, usually on a Tuesday, sometimes a Wednesday. And if you subscribe, you'll see me in your newsfeed. Also, if you like this topic, please click the like button below. I would appreciate that. It's like gold here for me on YouTube. My name is Alina Wilson with Examate Mastery. For more information on what we do here, I train contractors how to use Xactimate. Go to our website at www.examatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week in your business. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next week.